kind of blank, like, no. Okay, so there's no color at all? Zero? It's white or clear? Yeah, it's clear. And any number at all? No, I can't see a number at all. Okay, so we thank you. We want this one. We like the fact that it's just done, clear, gone. No number. Absolutely gone. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to now switch over and you're going to look through the right. And is there anything left? No. All right, so now we're just no, going to say thank you. And notice if there's any feeling of feelings or emotions, you're just going to start to remove and transcend. If they feel like they're stuck in your gut, you're just going to pull it out and say, Oh my gosh, it's already done. I no longer need to keep going into this reaction. And the, what you're doing is you're going to pull out the anchor of shame. Because no longer does it, is it you, and no longer does it have to cue you. When you see it and somebody brings it up to you and you see it, you're going to be able to go, Oh, oh, that's what she was talking about. Oh, no thank you. And literally be done with it and you are going to have to be okay to learn the next phase of your life which is to create those boundaries to say I'm sorry you know what I know somebody else that could help you you're going to learn ways that's going to help you to zig and zag out of their life so what happens when you start setting those boundaries and start um, articulating your needs that's when you start bringing health and vitality back. Yes. Um, because recently, um, I have an example of this because it was difficult for me to speak up and say, well, this is something that I need because I'm so used to just being smacked down and, and, and whether, not physically, but, um, but with words and that kind of thing, but actually articulating my needs. Then I was answered back in a more positive way. And then just from that, we, there's been little glimmers of hope um, in other um, facets of what's been going on. We've, we've, we've talked yes. about that, um, things are improving and that kind of thing. And it's difficult, sometimes it's difficult um, to, to say no because you know that that's a source of income of some kind and saying, oh man, if I'm, tur if I'm turning down this that's 25 the hard part. or 30, Man, is it is it really going to be fruitful, and and are they going to honor the the full worth of what I need to be paying? Because people, so here's the thing: so people are not paying. This is a phrase that I came across um, within the recent past: is that they're not paying for your services because if you love what you're doing, you're doing that service out of love. You are being of service because it's what you love to do. It's what you're passionate about. What they're paying for is your education. They're paying for your training. They're paying for those for what you've had to do to get you to this point. They're kind. They're paying that off, and what you're doing is being of service because it's what you love to do. If that makes sense. Oh, definitely. I have I have lots of training. I can my certificates. I can wallpaper a whole wall with all of them. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the biggest... called for holistic and, and all that, and, and I've been training for about 14 years now. Wow. Uh, yeah. The thing I would like to bring up about the abuse is, I, the interesting thing is, I, I've been working on myself really um, quite a bit for the last 15 years, but um, really emphasizing on myself the last six months and and um, I'm a Reiki master and I do lots of holistic and past life. I kept forgiving my abuser, but I didn't forgive my, I didn't even think of forgiving my sister. Yes. And not do anything about it. And, and it wasn't, you know, I, I would have felt, she always made me feel safe and secure. I'm a cancer and she's a Taurus and she was always a strong one. And I didn't realize that it was her that I had to forgive. Well, I'm glad that it came up so that you could uh, release this particular part. And they said that you've done very well. Now, I'm going to double check here because, see, I also was raped and abused and incest and all this. And the, the, when, the, when those moments happen, especially the molestation, when, you, when the, those moments happen, we, we, there's all these different facets and perceptions. It uh, looks like a kaleidoscope. And you can totally be free of it. And I'm going to check to see if there's anything else within that particular moment 
of when it occurred and we're going back to actually like the first moment or any specific moments your soul wants and I'm just going to look and see if there's anything left that you need to address. Okay. And they said, so what's that? Two different men okay. as a child and then raped three times okay. as a teen. Yes, and I know you said you did a lot of work, and your body is holding a, a habitual pattern, which means it's separate from the emotional and the mental, okay, but your body is, is hitting and, and repeating, okay, just like when we were, removed it from the eyes, which can actually release it from the whole bunch of the body. So now, if I were to actually help you, which we probably could call back in, you could even call and set up and make appointments, but what it really boils down to is that uh, they're going to the word dreaming, as if to say you can't have your dream come true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you been able to be successful in what you're doing? Uh, I left for a short period of time. Very Be short. Because, you know, I'm double checking, do you need to forgive yourself? And you, you have. Um, is there anything else? No, you don't have to do that. But you have to understand that the reason that you, you, you get short burst of uh, yeses, of dreams, and that's because they, your dreams were cut short as a kid. So the habitual pattern, the physical, as well as the active life, has got to repeat a specific pattern, regardless if you have any emotional, mental. That's all clear. Let's say it's all clear. It's the part of how it's hooked into your seasons, the, the, the weather. It's hooked into holidays. It's hooked into the, the, the deep deep dark secret signatures of people signatures of people and what they would like you to know they completely they're I have to follow this hold on I got they, they, they didn't drop me per se but they just now taking me somewhere to address why I don't know why I can't really breathe it just sucked the life out of you you have aches and pains do you have physical aches and pains Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll make sense. Okay. You want your dream to come true, but I also am now taken back to a specific memory. Um, Alright, so when, a, when an event occurs like this, one of the major problems that occurs is that the self-talk kicks in and it goes rapid and the pictures are there, the feelings are there, the self-talk goes crazy. You can't get it out of your head. And literally, it, 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 it's just sucking the life out of you. And every time you go to play and dream, all of a sudden that just blocks you and sucks the life out of you. And for me, I ripped it, mine out and threw it out in the field, and I didn't get it until I was older. But they're saying this is like being very repetitive. You can feel it, how it drains you out, how it drains you out. And this is kind of like what the people are doing to you as far as that you're helping. Because you didn't get helped, you want to now help. And so... But but they, they but their 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 talk their sweet talk their 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 way of looking at you and placating yes placating and what happens is that all of a sudden you can't help because the rescue in you wants to do this because it's the little girl that wanted to be rescued so now I got to ask the little girl inside are you rescued yes is there, do you need any more rescuing no what do you need from me I need her to listen and stop doing a habit stop doing a habit. And it was what we have already been addressing? No. Okay, what, what habit can you tell me? Um, do you bring people in? I know it's part of your job to do so, but do you really bring people in that are really broken? That carry disdain? Yeah. Now, you can bring people in, but if they, you're bringing people in that have complete disdainfulness, what will happen is, is they won't be able to heal completely out because they can't let it go of the, you know, letting the other person get away with it type thing. And so then it's like all of a sudden it's your job that you have to pay. Okay. Because I've had to pay, yeah, I, um, that's what was happening is I was paying out more than I was making. And I only made 
dollars last year. Oh. Okay, now. And, and, uh, and I've had less than ten dollars in my bank account for the last year and a half. Okay, so here's an interesting thing that you have to look at. Remember this jealousy jealousy thing? Was it her that was that had the jealousy yes. thing? Do you did they I keep just feeling they were pissed that you interfered and took remember how we were talking about how it was the twisted form of attention getting yes. fr that your sister saw that hey well I had it, now why does she get it? And it twisted and really twisted. Right. And, and, and the, the thing is, is that what this is happening is that you have to pay for it because you took something of mine. It's like, people get greedy and they want to keep all of their horrors sometimes just for themselves. Or they want to claim things for themselves. And again, you were damned if you were doing, damned if you don't as a kid. Because you had mm -hmm. in one end that you were getting abused. On the other end, you were abused um, even though... They never really came across that way, but how what they did was, they were, they have all this resentment, and they contempt for you, and what the hell do you have that I don't? What you know, you it's just there's all this content or con, just. Oh, anyways, I can't even talk because my jaw even hurts. Right. So then, all of a sudden, I had this flash. Well, what about the mom? If this was happening with the daughters, was any attention? taken away yes. from the mom and was she resentful of the daughters of getting the attention? Um, yes, my mother was. Good. Cause she, it was interesting because she became, once my father left, she became an alcoholic and she used to, uh, if I bring a guy home as a teen, she would sit on his lap and, and all kinds of things. Yeah, because she didn't want you to take him. Alright, so here's the question. Have you forgiven your mother? I've been working on it. Okay, so that's what they're referring to that I get. Um, because, again, you were not able to have a dream because there was always this resentment and stuff like this that was always in your face. All right, so now I've got to ask. Yeah. What, so now i got to ask the soul, what do you want her to heal? With all this information, yes, we know this. Now what do you want her to heal? That's part of the R3S. You're going to go beholding that you can't figure it out. Why is she acting this way? Why all of a sudden one minute that she loves me and adores me and the next minute she hates me? You know, you, so you're going to go through the whole family. You're going to go through the whole Because the story. mom would have to provide the roof over the head, all of this stuff, knowing full well that, it was, that on one end this was being taken away from her and given to the daughters, but still having to provide... And probably, I mean, and just imagine the resentment of I'm providing all of this just so that it's taken away and given to them. Because that's why my jaw was hurting. But now, um, th there's just so much bitterness towards her. Yeah. And you have so much that that's there, you know, as far as bitterness towards you. And so now I've got to see: Do you have a rip or a hole or something that attracts it to you? Yes, with the attraction factor. Get it out of her. Well, all right. Let okay. me look then. <laughs> all right. Where is this? This. And they said it's in the, oh, it's just in the need to get past. Mm -hmm. Because she's done so much work. The past has to now be put behind yeah, Yes. I, I, I do. All right, so what we're going to do is say yes again, and we'll do another healing. And what Jen's going to do is, you know, roll on Scott again. Take and roll <laughs> on the magnets on Scott. Roll on me. Okay. <laughs> if you watch the video, you'll understand the magnet, yeah. electromagnetic healing. That now what doing. you're going to do is you're going to take this whole stuff that we just talked about, and, and you tell me, where is it? In front of you? Where is it? Inside of you? Where and is I'll it? I'll concentrate on everything. Um, it's on my right hand side. Right hand side. Uh -huh. um, and it's on my chest. Okay. Just below my... Now watch right yourself. Hand. Watch it go through you and go to your past as, as like you're stepping forward and walking through it. You're just going to let it go now. And you're going to watch the tentacles... Okay. You're going to watch all of that where you locate it, make it go through your body and go, go in the back. Go way back there. So you're going to separate. It's going to put it in your past. And it's, there you go. Okay. And as you're doing this, I want you to feel any tentacles, anything that's hooking on, they all release. Taking it out by the roots, just all release. Hmm, there. That feels 
good. Is it that she reads the packet? Is there anything else? Okay, good. Now. Yeah, sure. uh, I felt good. Yeah, my neck feels better now. Woohoo! Okay, is there anything else? Nope, it looks like the attraction well, factor is gone. Use all that abuse and all of the right eye when I was giving you migraines. Oh, um, that would explain why my neck. Interesting. The right eye thing, I couldn't figure out why I was getting migraines over my right eye all the time. It makes sense. So now the best mm -hmm. thing for you to do is you have to retrain yourself of knowing when they, they come. The, the signature of these people are going to come to your face to some degree. And all you're going to do is you're going to finally get to say no. You know, you're going to, you're learning how to now stand and learning how to know the pattern of what manipulation is. And as soon as you see it, if you feel like you have to be drawn and give in, go heal. Just say, excuse me, go heal. Go take and do a meridian tapping. Um, there's, you can even quickly go and, and go to R3S because that's the shock that pulls you in. And then you can go, oh my God, I, I, I feel like I gotta serve them, I gotta do it. Oh my God, they're asking me, oh, I see the pattern. Just hold R3S and, and see it and then put it on scale from 0 to 10, give it a color, and then when it comes down, you are then gonna be able to hold your power and you're gonna be able to better talk and stand up and say what you need to say. Jen, what were you gonna say? Do you know what's interesting? Now, we have amazingly loving fans that participate with us and call in in the chat room. But I find it interesting now, it makes sense as to why this other person needed to speak before her. Oh, absolutely. That's why we had to give her more time. Right. See, and I love the way God has arranged it. So that was a clue. Yes. That's what we call clue finding. So you gave yourself, the universe wanted us to speak a little longer. Oh, I, yeah. So you understand what your next part is. Anytime you feel like you're going to become a victim, you go to R3S, give it a color number, get it down to zero. Every time you start recognizing the pattern, that you can just start saying, um, no, walk away. But if you feel any twinge, heal it out. Okay, when in doubt, heal it out. Because you're going to learn to have that backbone. You don't have to go to the extreme where you have to be mean. But what's happening is we want to make sure you get rid of all the attraction factor, all of what brings those people in like that. And you should have a group of people that are more healthier and stronger. Um, but at the same time, you won't be isolating yourself. You'll be able to put out that vibe that says, I'm open for business, and I'm, I'm, I'm valuable, and this is what I'm worth, and thank you for paying me. Because you know that you can do your job. So we put, I put the link for the healing tools, mwreveal.com slash healing tools in in the chat room and so um so then you can use the golden lasso healing <laughs> tool as far as calling yes. like-minded people so you can start building up a, a healthy network and support system and then you can use the thought management yes. tool to heal some of these people from your past and and even some of the clients and that kind of thing from out of your head that, that take anything from you so there's a lot of healing tools there the one i haven't got up is the emotion code like i said go to just put in the motion code the emotion code and then what happens is that you'll get a, a it'll take you to a website you get you can do it there's free information that you can sign yeah. up for and you'll see the emotion code chart you know you buy the book it's wonderful read it's awesome it gives you great information Lots of examples um, the other part is is go good your you know you can use your hand or go get a magnet it doesn't have to be anything expensive um, and you I mean I, I've bought the stuff but I also went and did the body code um, which is uh, more expensive, but you can even become, um, I think, a healer in that area because I got a friend that's paying for the class and becoming an emotion code healer. So there's all these options, but this the emotion code has been a godsend uh, because it works so it, quickly it, it on the habitual the, physical level. It releases the trapped emotions. The other, yeah. I mean, you're doing all kinds of stuff, but it's actually the electromagnetic mm -hmm. part of the um, uh, emotion that's that gets trapped in the body. And once once you memorize or have a familiarity and, and it comes up, it's asking to be released. And that uh, actually goes along with the hope therapy when it's asked to release. Okay? Yes, I, I really appreciate it. I've been trying to figure out what's going on for the last five years and have had really difficult times in the last five years and nobody's come kind of even close to it. So I appreciate your time. Mm -hmm and uh, your love and your healing so Thank much. You. Thank you. And please uh, watch the videos or listen to the archives to get all the gems that we spoke of so that you can actually heal on a more deeper level and stay in contact, okay? 
And then you can also... Yes, love and light for all of you. Thank you. Love and, um, yes, thank you so much. Uh, love and light to you, too. We also have um, our own YouTube channel. Um, so you go to youtube.com slash medicine women reveal all spelled out and then the videos will be put up there and you can also subscribe yeah <laughs> and tell everybody about us that would be very helpful yeah pay so pay it forward in the chat room you put all that in the chat room i will yep. put, i will put the youtube link in the chat everything room. else is there yep the healing tools are there all right happy Thank healing you healing uh, and have a wonderful merry christmas and happy holidays whatever the appropriate uh, words are just know that uh, i'm sending light and love Happy, happy holiday. Thank, Thank you, dear. Okay. All right. Take care. We'll be back. After I had a pause, so okay. All right. Okay. That's good. Isn't that awesome? So we're pulling cards we're for Octarine. We're going to do a couple of cards for Octarine. We'll so you the know. cards? <laughs> <laughs> no. Then I can do this. How about switching positions? Oh, oh excuse me. You're going to okay. take the seat. <laughs> You're in the command council. I'm still yes, I'm taking. I'm still taking. The first I'm, what are they? Or I'm what still they going to no the sure. they, they say that you take the con, right? You take the con. Yep. Take All right. Con. Oh, control. Control. The captain. Got it. Shatner would. I'm, I'm still what's going on with. He what's was a pause actor. And yes. So the cards that I pulled from the Wisdom of Avalon deck for Miss Octarine was R because it's plural. It's love and knowledge <coughs> and healing. So that's awesome. Usually the serpent um, in mythology and in the Bible, some people say, oh, I don't want the serpent. I don't want that kind of thing. But this is great as far as knowledge and healing. So I'm actually inspired okay. uh, and guided to read about the serpent. The serpent's message is one of healing and of gaining knowledge. Whatever situation you're in right now is meant for this purpose. The serpent also reminds you that knowledge is important. Perhaps it's time for you to read a book or take a class in order to gain more understanding of your inquiry. Or you may need to ask questions of others who know and can help you. Ask the serpent, you'll be guided to the right answer easy, easily and effortlessly. The serpent heralds success if you follow his signal. Now, what uh, before you oh, get Gloria, to yeah. before you get to I yours? You. Her mic's on, so she can talk anytime too. Woohoo! Oh, Karen's mic is on. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Hi. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you're if you're investigating or if you've. Um, delved into more classes about knowledge and healing and that kind of thing, but it seems that the love energy is around that. Now, I'm actually inspired to talk about this serpent as far as um, in theological terms. Now, the serpent is an interesting character because the serpent actually, from um, one source, actually had feet prior to its interaction with Adam and Eve. Really? And part of the punishment, if you want to say, it was is defeated. it was defeated. <laughs> and oh, so okay. then it it now crawl <laughs> that's funny. She we we have fans who like the Scott show. So now it's supposed to be closer to the earth. So then all of a sudden these images started getting closer coming closer to me, yes, inside my head. Um that perhaps maybe that some of the knowledge and the healing that you're doing is part of that getting closer and becoming more grounded, becoming um, more in tune with earth energy. So that's what I was interpreting okay. this okay. as. And your card, sir? Sorry, I don't mean that's to make the light of things. Okay, no, I funny. got the, the magic <laughs> prayer reverse. Self-will that goes unchecked can bring difficulties. Reverse, the magic prayer card is a sign that you mistakenly believe that your way is the only one. Could the path you're on be leading you to a place of regret? Or could you be pursuing something that just isn't good for you? If so, you may be facing a painful lesson and a lonely one too. Perhaps it's time to pray and meditate on your highest good and the highest good of all. Spirit may have other plans for you. Be assured that you will be better than any than any you could ever dream be sure that they will be better than any you could ever dream of. Okay. So does any of this make sense? Yo. Karen, did we lose you? I muted mean, I mean myself, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had something 
<laughs> that's nicely shifting. And as far as more of the cough goes, anything else with the cough? They said that you're going to start noticing that um, they want you to look at the motion code. Oh, that's good. Okay. And the motion code, you're going to play with it. Just look up the motion code and download the, the picture, print it off. And all you're doing is two columns and uh, one, two, I've six. Done it. I've done it all. Oh, good. I've done it all. Just play with it. Yeah, I, I did it with you. That was oh, yeah. If yeah, she did. Apparently, you know, that's right. I just want to get everything covered. All right. All right. I love you, babe. And we got a, now all of a sudden we got a so, full room. So thank so, you for participating with thank us. Thank you. To yes, be a bridge. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> taking care of my peeps apparently when I'm out of the room. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, real so quick, before uh, we get to the callers, two callers waiting. Yes, Teresa. Real quick, um, what I want you to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to grab a card. We're going to do this real uh, quick. Okay. And that chat room. One, two, three. Ooh. Balancing act. It's exactly what we told you in the cards. Was that you are going to learn how to balance yourself, and you're going to know when you're going to stop putting your hand in the back in the fire. You're going to learn to know when a fire is coming, and you know that you're going to balance it out, where you're going to have time, love, and that you're going to have play and dream, and then you're going to be able to manifest. Oh. And, and I got the dream time and creation cards. So same, same kind of message. Pay attention to your dream time, and some of this can be healed up through your dreams. And so the cards were affirming what we've done. Okay, so um, we're going to take a Skype caller and see who it is. Go for it. Hello. Hi there. Hello, Skype caller. Waiting. Hi, Hi there. I thought, I it, was thought you. it was you. We appreciate you waiting, dear. You got any specific questions or comments, or just want me to give you a reading? Oh, well, I, I um, was listening, and you know, the the portal opened, so I said, let me step through it, but. Defeated, I love it. <laughs> she loves it, Scott. <laughs> defeated. defeated. Oh, ah. Defeated. So you got a lot of people that, that get you. You know that? Yes. You're making him blush, by the way. That's so cute. If you were watching the video, it's all red. Oh, boy. I don't turn red. It was very, 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 very um, esoteric. Yeah. Um, the message that I got was, um, esoteric, for sure. But he knows more than he really wants to let on. That's absolutely true. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey. funny. I don't know. <laughs> so, anything that we can help you with, dear? I would love a card. <gasps> she would love a card. And Jen's. What kind of card could it be? Calling card. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you supposed to be drawn well, to one? I think I'm drawn to one, right? I know she's drawn to one. Right. There. Oh. And I don't know yet. Okay, you read yours. Jen will pull hers. And we have to have talk because we can't have silence. Oh, so when are okay. you going to read, Scott? I, I guess I'll, I'll, read, I'll, read the, I'll read the random <laughs> card that I picked here. It says rock bottom. Surrender and acceptance are the keys to freedom. As difficult as it may be to accept, it seems that you reached a point where you can go no further in the same manner in which you've been doing things. Perhaps you hit a proverbial brick wall or experience a deep sense of loss and don't know where to turn. The old way of doing things must be discarded fully in order to move onward and upward. A new direction and a new strategy are called for. The only way out is through surrender. Accept things as they are and admit that you have no idea what to do next. If you wait in that a heartfelt moment of release, then a stairway will appear like magic and all manner of synchronicities will show you the way to higher ground. The rock bottom card is a sign that a miracle is about to occur, but only if you let go completely. Interesting. Hmm. So, now I'm curious of what you got to do. Jen, what do you see? So, I got the uh, communion card, but it's reversed. So, a new form of communion or being with what has been a sanctuary and healing needs to be established and uh, breathe new life into that. So you actually are going to have to go into a yoga position and, or go into doing heart math, which is a breathing, or wild divine, which are two, these are, these, they actually have 
ways to teach you how to get your heart and your mind in sync. So, like I said, the Wild Divine has a machine. Uh, heart Math has a, the EM Wave number two is the best one. Um, but it is about the breathing process. And the way the, the breathing process and getting that you're intentionally getting your heart and your mind in sync is where they want you to go next. Um, does this make sense? Yes. Okay, so I just gave you two particular things. You can read about it. You might find out. I can't remember what some of these are called. I think there's actually the heart breath, um, but it's like, I can't remember if it's four beats, you know, four inhales, four exhales, four pauses, I can't remember, but just start looking up for breathing exercises um, in meditation or whatever it is because that's what they, I see you doing, especially when you're getting in rhythm because they're saying that you're, you, as you're sculpting, you can actually get into a deeper space of channeling um, and you're going to be able to do more details. Okay. How is that coming, by the way, the, 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 the sculpting? It's coming. I'm, I'm preparing to really immerse myself in, in the clay like I've never done before. Good. So it's, it's coming. It's commanding my, my, um, my attention in a stronger way. Now, what I see is also there's a signature that you're going to put in each one, like a sun. Something to do with it, it somehow, some way... You know how like you get a signature, it's always the same on each one. In this case, you could have actually a sun or a partial of a sun or sun rays. Somehow it's going to show up somewhere, whether it's going to be on some t somebody on top of somebody's head like a mohawk or it's going to be a tattoo on the body. I, I don't know how you're sculpting it, but they said you're going to be so creative of a symbol that's going to be in your works of arts, but because you're going to attune it to a higher frequency of love and openness, that you're going to be able to really create that sculpture to vibrate, you know, like how rocks and stones vibrate these beautiful healing stuff. Well, that's what your sculptures are going to do. Okay? You know, I've been being told that, and it makes sense to me. Why not? Why should it be on a low level? I just want to be as high as possible. Exactly. And so by taking an intentionally doing those breaths, bringing the scope through, and somehow creating a signature for yourself. It may not be the sun, but they're just showing me that you've gotten very creative and putting it everywhere. Um, but somehow that'll be infused and attuned to the vibration. Um, and you can even look and see what number vibrations, and look at stones and, and, and maybe infuse the, the frequencies of those stones. You can even take essences from flowers and pick that frequency or the vibration of you know like C, B and E and you can infuse that frequency in there but you will know because each one can even be specifically sculpted for a particular person if they ask you for works of art then it can be like the healing or whatever it is that you line that they take you in okay I got it with gratefulness yeah I will not I will not be deep, deep <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Until you, unless you need to be closer to earth. Yeah, then you get on your knees and say, and then play in the sand and the dirt. We already are with the sculpting and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Well, we love you very much, and we thank you for calling yes, in. Yes, thank, thank you. And keep in touch, sweetie. My pleasure, and the love is returned uh, mm -hmm. many, many, many times. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Have a great holidays, dear. Me too, thank you. I'll see you. All right, bye. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this quick little break, and we'll come back, and then call our number. Is it 202? 202 will be... We'll, we'll be right back, and it'll be so. you. Okay? For, uh, I guess, a general reading. I'm feeling much very out of, out of sorts. Okay. As of like today, or I guess once this was in general, whatever pops up. All right, all right. We'll just go ahead and see where that leads us. Oh, Instantly. Here, you like can right have there. that. Twinge in your back, Jen. The neck. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any physical aches and pains, my dear? Do I have any what? Physical aches or pains. Um, not at the moment. I mean, I have something chronic that... Okay. There, but, um, one thing I see. Really right. One, <laughs> okay. one thing I see is that there's a disconnect of energy from the way the head speaks to the body. Now I got to find: does the body speak in the head? Yeah. The body is speaking to the head, but the head's not speaking to the body. 
somehow there's something you could have slept wrong on it. You could have hurt your neck somehow. Um, it's, it is a heart wall that needs to be healed and removed, but it, it literally leaves you lethargic to some degree. Um, so did you damage your neck in any way? Um, I have actually, I have um, something going on with my neck. I'm not exactly sure what, but it, it doesn't happen all the time. But I thought sometimes when I sleep wrong, I didn't think it was a, a big deal, I guess. It's not a big deal, but energetic wise, it does affect uh, the, your moods, um, your thinking ability. It creates a disconnect. Um, okay. Like, for instance, to help recover that, and I don't think I have it up on my wall yet, but separating heaven and earth. You can look that up and put Donna Eden, and it's a, just a healing exercise. It takes a few seconds to do, and it'll help bridge the as above, so below, so the energies will balance. Um, on our healing site, we have, um, uh, I feel like you need to do the Wayne Cook posture because I got scrambled energies that are going on. And I'm going to look at Jen because she's got a boo-boo that she's picking up or an ubu, what do we want to call it. i got to look for something specific. So you guys talk while I'm looking. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> so I drew some cards from the, there, it's the Wisdom of Hidden Realms deck from Colette Baron Reed. And the first card, this is just a general, you said I, want, I just want a general reading, and while my body is picking up your body, I am going to read what also your energy is saying in other ways. And the first card is Lady of the Mirror. But it's reversed, and I will get to what that means in just a second, okay. which is um, the Lady of the Mirror is both ally and challenger, asking you to see yourself in the mirror made by the events in your life. She represents the powerful force of the law of attraction and reminds you that what you are is what you attract. This isn't to say that you need to blame yourself for inviting transgressions or if you find yourself a victim of a big picture event, say a war. This is a distorted interpretation of this law. Certain events are fated to test our faith. And I have issues with those words, but that's okay. Rather, find yourself within the web woven through your life. Your relationships, opportunities, desires, seeming failures, and successes. Observe how you've responded to life's challenges, great and small, and be aware of what is familiar in the present. Release all judgment and accept things with love. And then I got the Well Watcher um, as an ally, which says, It signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world, which, he reminds you, is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. Okay, now... So it's focusing I, on your inner world, creating your outer world. Right, and before I go into detail, Scott picked a card, and he wants to read okay. it. Okay, okay. Into the unknown. Trust, and all will be revealed. <laughs> Life is an adventure, and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You are required to trust the, that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories, valuable treasures. All right, so what's happening is that, I don't know if you've ever been exposed to the emotion code or the body code or different healing tools. Um, as I'm experiencing the way the blood and the way the energy is uh, communicating and not communicating where it is stuck, and they keep all going back to how you need to detach from an idea. You have an intolerance to an idea or a thought. Literally, when people start talking, you just have, your body goes, oh, I cannot tolerate that anymore. They are just making me sick. Um, does that make sense? What's that? Um, in a way... Do, do you want some? Yeah, there, there's something. You got three particular ones. Uh, do you, are you thinking something continuously? 
All right, so I want you to focus on relationship thinking just for a minute. And that one's not as much as it's the job. And it is like a force that says you're supposed to have one. You're supposed to. There's a supposed to. It's the idea that you're not doing it right. Um, does that make sense? Right. Okay. Now, before I go any further, um, if you want us to do a healing for you, we'll send you the energy. Just say yes now, and I will, Jen will, and Scott and I will all work on you. So would you like us to help you? Yeah. All right. Okay, so as they're getting to position, I said that the first one was the supposed to. Now, I want you to think about that. And as you think about how you're supposed to do this, you can't tolerate their thoughts and, and the way that they think all the time. And where it, maybe it's just yourself, but just get into it and think it. And Jen, you're going to have to roll ten times because it's more of an inherited thing because it came from the family line that you're supposed to, no matter what. <coughs> <laughs> because it literally wants to affect the way that I take in life. Um, yeah. And you can feel the intolerance, and intolerance can lead to allergies. Intolerance can lead to how your body just flares up and flames up and creates aches and pains. All right, now let me see, is it still there? No. All right, so now i got to find the other two. So, um, so everybody tune in, and let's see if we can get it. So the, I'm going to look for the second one is kind of related to sorrow. I was going to say, is, it, is there something that's, because with this um, that's stab, right. in the, stab in the back, people stab in the back. Well, let me look. Is there a is there uh, being sabotaged? Somebody's like stabs you in the back? Um, wow. I don't, I don't know if you are being bullied. Yeah, I think of it as in a sort of kind of unconventional relationship and some, some unfortunate stuff happened between me and that guy and we're kind of like back talking again and that's I guess now where I'm finding I, I don't it's hard uh, to explain I don't know if that's a well you're creating a self-sabotage and that's where the sorrow comes in and that's what they're referring to in a way is that the idea of oh here we go again um, there, there was a part of you that was feeling lonely or something which made you vulnerable, which created you to think, okay, maybe I should, which led you down to, oh, now I don't know if I should. Does it, that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so focus on, on all that. And Jen, I want you to roll because that too is also an inherited pattern. And the last one I'm going to dig for is, hmm, get that out of there. All right, now, has that one been removed? Yes, is there anything else left? No. Now, this last one, it's a ho-hum. It's not that you're wishy-washy, indecisive. It could be a state of confusion, but there is just left of where well, there's no answers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I Oh, yeah. yep, she's there. Roll. And that just needs three times. You did what? I, I'm just telling her to roll, and, and we're, we're sending you energy right now. Okay, now is that in the body still? No. Okay. Is there anything else that needs to be removed out of there? No. Okay, you go ahead and sit down. So, the thing is, is that uh, what we just talked about creates an energetic pattern. It can get locked. The emotions can get locked in the, the body. And when you think about them, they come to the surface. We use a magnet um, and sent energy uh, to you, I mean, because it's all as a thought, we're all connected. And I was able to just, uh, Jen rolled down Scott's back, he was a proxy for you, so as a stand-in. And energetic-wise, I, I see it's released, I don't see any more of the spots there. Okay. And it's now, it, go ahead. No, I, I guess I was trying to understand what you say, uh, but to catch from an idea, do you need to catch from the idea that, you know, oh, you're supposed to have this the way that, you know, these people say you're supposed to have it, or um, the thing that I'm currently involved with, should I let go of that? Well, what happened is, is that when I asked you to think about the thoughts that need to be detached, these were 
two of them were inherited, meaning you had to create these type of relationships with a job and a person because it's just part of the way the family history is or inherited within through the group consciousness. Now, as you, as we use the magnets, we disconnected and released that energy so you didn't have to influence you about your thinking. So if you wanted to have a healthy relationship, you could. And when you want to go out and get the job or the job that you want, not whatever people want, you're going to be able to be more free without interference. So you don't have to do any more detaching. Your body has released what it needed to. The main thing was is that there was a confusion. Okay. Okay, so what you need to understand now is that you've got a healing. As we look at a little deeper about what's going on, is there anything else we need to do? Yes. We need to give you a positive card to read, and then we're going to have to close the show because we only got like a minute or so left. Okay. A door to the infinite. Inside me is a door to the infinite. I take the time to go to my heart center and link up with heaven. In this serene place, I am eternal and indestructible. Through this inner journey, I am able to see beyond the life's challenges and reach the higher levels of my existence. My inner light is my greatest strength and my greatest wealth. So your inner world creates your outer world, and by helping you magnetically clear out, you should be able to have a better, um, clearer head about what you're going to do. Jen, pick two cards. And the cards just... Um, Reinforce. Reinforce that since things have been purified, it, you, there is a celebration that can take place. Your body may start coming back to life in different ways, mm -hmm. systems coming back on board, so to speak. Um, okay. Synchronicity, pay attention to synchronicity because now that you have those things that are removed and not interfering, you can ask the angels, thank you for arranging my job, thank you for arranging a relationship, and the universe will start throwing um, what they call synchronicity things that's going to help you and embrace where you need to go. So we only got 14 seconds left before I say goodbye. So we want to thank you for calling in. Keep in yes. contact, okay, dear? Yes, follow up with okay, us. Well, thank you. All right, stay okay, blessed, thank dear. You. Take and care. have a great holiday. And one second left. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks Good for evening. listening. Thanks for listening.